Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Georgia Tech's machine learning for trading class. I'm going to walk you through it, tell you all about it, so let's get started. All right, let's talk about machine learning for trading. So I took this class as part of Georgia Tech's online master's program, and I did it in the fall of 2021. So if you're interested in machine learning, I would highly suggest this class. It's a really great starter class. If you don't have a lot of experience, it's really nice. They ramp you up really well. And they only require about like 10 hours a week on homework and stuff. So I would highly suggest it if you're either interested in investing or machine learning. And speaking of investing, shout outs to Father and Son Investing for lending me this microphone for today's video. If you're interested in investing, check out their channel. They have a lot of great content and they're really smart. So let's talk about the class. So graded course projects, you get eight projects, uh, each are worth about 10% of your grade. Then you have two exams that are closed book and proctored. The final is non-cumulative, which is great. So project one is a basically simulation where you pretend that you're spinning a martingale roulette wheel and you're trying to see how much money you can win or lose after a certain number of rolls. So they give you some algorithm that you implement in this link here. And it's interesting because you earn some money in the short term, but the expected value over the long term is that you can lose infinity money because the house always wins. So let's talk about project two, optimize something. In this project, you're trying to figure out how to best pick the stocks when you know the future prices. So if you know that tomorrow Google's stocks are gonna go down by 20, dollars or something you would sell it and then you would buy it again or i don't know like that kind of idea so you get the prices ahead of time and you're trying to uh basically earn the most money when you know the right answers after a certain time period my pro tips for this are watch the lecture videos uh the pandas framework is your friend and you want to make sure your code is like as small as possible that you can reuse later in projects that'll come in handy for later projects all right let's talk about project three it's called assess learners so in this project you're actually going to be implementing some machine learning models namely the decision tree and you're going to actually combine decision tree models to make even bigger decision tree models so right here we have like a random tree and a decision tree and a decision tree so two of those say to buy the stock we combine those decisions and you say buy and decision tree itself is basically just how do you decide on a certain thing and you branch off in different directions based on certain data points. So this one's like playing tennis. If it's sunny uh, and it's not humid, then yes, you play tennis. But in your case, you're going to be implementing for stocks. So you look at the ratio of how much it's currently versus how much it was like 10 weeks ago. And that can be one data point that you say oh, it's not a good stock, no, I won't buy it, or yes, it's a good stock, I will buy it. Okay, so project number four is called Defeat Learners. So in this project, you're actually going to be making the data that goes into your machine learning models. So before this project, you've been given data that the class has given you, but now you're going to actually make your own data set that's meant to trick one of your machine learning models. So my advice for this project is to plot on a graph your data points and just have a picture of them because then you'll be able to see the patterns and you'll be able to figure out which data sets work best for certain models and which don't. All right, project number five is called Market Simulator. So for this one, you're basically just going to get a list of orders, so buying and selling stocks and the dates that those were executed on plus how much of each stock was either bought or sold. And then you're supposed to calculate at the end of some time period how much money that certain order form made the person. So it's essentially you're simulating the stock market and it's explained well in the videos. So I would definitely just watch those because he pretty much just codes it up for you uh, on the whiteboard and you just have to write it in the Python code. All right, project six is called indicator evaluation. So for project six, you will be making some indicators in your code on how good a stock is. So I chose these three, simple moving average, percent B, and momentum. You can choose basically whatever indicators you are interested in and you implement that in code. And then based on those um, indicators, you're trying to experiment with 
how you decide which stocks are good and which stocks are bad. So you can combine them together or you can like have some kind of ratio or subtraction. I don't know, it depends on what you want to do. But this this project, you just run through some experiments using those indicators and see what the results are. All right, so Project Q Learning takes a little bit of a swerve away from the machine learning for trading viewpoint and talks about Q Learning. So Q Learning is basically just how do you tell a robot or something to choose the best actions based on their current environment and then how do you give that robot uh, certain rewards based on their current environment so if you've taken q learning for machine learning in this program before you can basically just use your code again because it's the same algorithm and uh, it's it's a little bit different than the other projects like you're not doing trading for this project specifically but in the last project, Project 8, you can reuse some of your Project 7 code if you so choose to. You don't have to, though. So Project number 8 is the final project where you build a stock trading robot. And it's actually really cool. So you basically take everything you've learned in the class and you just said, just told to go. Go buy the best stocks, figure out how much money you can earn, and write, up, write about it. So you don't actually trade like real money. You're just trading pretend money that you have on previous histories of stocks. But theoretically, if you do have a good model and it's earning money in the historical data, maybe you could try that out with your own money in the current stock market and see how it goes. It's interesting. I mean, mine technically would have made more money than the traditional buy and hold method. Uh, I just have never really put it to the test. But if you're interested in that, um, like go for it. It's a really interesting thing to do. There's some extra credit in this class, but it's uh, I have no idea what it's about. So at least if you need to, some extra credit, you can get it. And the exams, like I mentioned, are multiple choice, two of them, non-cumulative. And here are my grades. And if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button. Um, please hit that like. I'll be pumping out some more content here soon. Thanks.